Welcome back to Bilar. We have sequence for kids. Pick this up at a thrift store. I like sequence. Two to four players, ages three and up. It's always funny when you put like, a, a cap on the age. So I'm guessing maybe because parents know like a younger, over six, not to play it. Got the object here. We're gonna pull out the board first. Pick a color token. Looks like poker chips looking thing. Pretty nice. Pull out the board. It's cool, it's like kids, kids, kids on the back. I might prefer this to main sequence actually. So as you can see, you gotta have lots of animals on here. We have our cards. And of course, we'll match the animals. Polly Panda, Katie the Kangaroo, Jerry the Giraffe, Willie the Wolf, Sherman the Shark, Zelda the Zebra, Henry the Hippopotamus, uh, Francine the Fox, Trevor the Tiger, uh, Dorothy the Dragon, removing each chip, so special card. Ulysses the Unicorn, a special card, uh, special card, place your chip on any space. Alice the Alligator, <coughs> Fat Wolgie, Ostrich, Canary Kangaroo, Any the Elephant. I think that's everybody, right? Camille the Camel. We seen everybody, I think. All right. So those are the, the cards in the game. Your special two cards to manipulate how chips are placed. So it's really one page. One page of instructions. So you want to be the first player to make a sequence of four chips in a row. I think regular sequence, maybe five. Uh, using their, using only their, only their own chips is the winner. Sequence of four chips in a row using only their own chips. Go blue, go blue. Place the board in the center of the table. Each player chooses a color. Let's choose blue. here. Deals out three cards. Okay, three cards one at a time. One, two, three. Do a second player here. All right. Each player may look at his or her cards. The remaining cards are placed face down in a pile somewhere near the board or the draw deck. Let's put it right here. Beginning with the player to the left, the dealer moves in a clockwise direction. The player selects a card, no other choice, from their hand, places a face up on the discard pile. The player should start a discard pile in front of them, visible for all others to see. So, so I'm going to play the little wolf in front of me in the discard pile. Once I do that, And places one of their chips on the matching card on the board. The player then must draw one card from the top of the draw deck, and that turn is over. You should always have three cards in your hand at the end of your turn. So I have two. So I played the little wolf. To my opponent's hand. Take a blue chip. All right, let's find the little wolf here and here. So we're going to place them here. I think that gives you one more option. And I would draw a card. Each card has a picture twice on the game board. So you have two each on the game board. You can play on either one of the spaces if it's not already covered. So you keep matching them. Then you have the dragon card to manipulate things. There are two dragon cards in the deck. 
as we saw. So my opponent's turn, he could play remove any chip if I was about to win. And all I needed to play as an alligator to win. But before that, he could remove maybe this chip goes back in my pile. And the opposite with the unicorn, if I'm here, I don't have the alligator. I can play this and win. So four in a row, you win the game. So pretty simple game. It's fun. Uh, there's free spaces here. So you act like a chip is already there. You're using these places for, you know, so only three of your color chips are needed to complete the sequence. Or one player may use the same uh, corner as part of the sequence. No chips are placed in these spaces. So you can maybe get a race going here. So you have these two free spaces of yours, but they also could have their chips here. And then once you play your fourth, this one counts for your sequence. So likewise that way. I don't remember if there's if you can diagonal out. If, yeah, I think you can diagonal as well. I think. Yep, or diagonally. So you can free space this three ways. So that way with a free space will give you four in the corners. Oh, this is a fun game. I like it. There's no dice involved. It's just kind of draw. It's a little bit of luck when you're just drawing cards. And but you have some power-up cards you can save for that right moment. And then play continues so someone gets four. So you're pretty much just trying to make sure you block whoever's about to get their four and try to get your four before anyone can block you. That is sequence for kids. It plays faster than regular sequence, which I like. I like that fact. So it's a fun game. And you usually can find that thrift source. Really cheap. Nice bright colorful board. Thanks for watching your blog. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Smash that like button. Hit subscribe. Thanks.